Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are going to make a vegetable brain. Yes, now you are going to need some cauliflower because to me the brain looks like a bunch of cauliflower. Now the book I'm showing you is um, Psychology. Um, Introduction to Psychology by Seven Sisters, and this is chapter one. And so um, I, was, I told you I was going to show you uh, how psychology works, the facts visually explained. And so um, it's all charts and graphs, okay? So I have it open to what we're going to use for the um, vegetable brain. The Little Book of Psychology is also very visual, um, not colorful, but visual. And we are using both of these as references for this curriculum that I love from Seven Sisters. Okay, so um, I just got a medley of um, vegetables. And so um, what we want to do is, I see the biggest one is going to be the frontal lobe. Okay, let's scoot over the brain parts. Okay, the frontal lobe. I suppose we should make it, I'm going to shove all this off here. <sighs> okay, the frontal lobe is here. All right, so, and then we have the parietal lobe on the top. And then we have the temporal lobe on the bottom. Okay. And then we have the occipital lobe in the back. Okay, nice. Oh my goodness, it's fitting together. That's cool. Then we have the cerebellum and the brainstem. Okay, so the brainstem is going to be this. Okay, we want to put jut it right into there. And uh, the cerebellum, we're going to do, um, let's see, is that too big? Hmm, how are we going to do that? Let's make it smaller. And it has like little cuts in it. So I'm making little striations. Okay, and I'm putting that in to the back. Okay, so we could put broccoli. The frontal lobe is really um, very much, um, let's see, could use, no. You know what, it looks so much more like a brain for the um, cauliflower to be used. So. It is super simple and fast to assemble a vegetable brain. Now let's see what each one does. Here is the frontal lobe, which is used for a lot of different things like thinking and motor control. The parietal lobe is used for sensory processing and speech. The temporal lobe is involved in auditory processing, memory, emotions, and language. And then the back one is the um, occipital lobe, and that occipital lobe is for visual information. Then here you have the brain stem, and then you have the cerebellum. The cerebellum is the part of the brain that's involved in balance and posture, uh, and it coordinates sensory input with the muscle response. And the brainstem is the main control center for basic bodily functions, and it connects the brain to the spinal cord. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.